guys now we are gonna talk about Antigua Antigua is my last island in the Caribbean so we finish five and now we go to the last one that is a very exciting one several things happen there you are gonna see it let's go for it so I took a picture of a car there just to prove that I was there Antigua Antigua and Barbuda in that island we always have we also have that those trees that uh, have the, the beard as I show in Barbados but I didn't see them in Antigua maybe in Barbuda they have so here you see um, where we went so let me just uh, go with my map here it does not want to go okay um, so remember we went to um, some islands here uh, in the bottom here that is uh, Trinidad and Tobago we went to um, uh, Barbados that is in very uh, here we went also to Jamaica and Republic, uh, Dominican Republic and now we are in Antigua and Barbuda let's go for it man okay Antigua and Barbuda are two islands um, that uh, constitute one country and then uh, the capital is St. John's and then I went to this part here that we call Jolly Beach This, the first thing is the flag um, you can see that the flag in this island is very colorful they said that um, uh, in general this um, uh, flag represents uh, 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 upcoming of a new area after the independence so the sun was raising and then they have new features in the island um, but they have the colors also mean uh, something like the um, red is the um, uh, blood of the slaves uh, remember for many years the, the, these islands were populated by slaves uh, under the dominion of the British um, and so and so many people die because of that so the black color there is the black heritage of 90% um, of these 95% or more of the inhabitants of these islands are African Americans or Africans uh, descendants then the um, uh, the yellow the blue and the um, white means the sun the sea and the sand that are characteristics of uh, of that island uh, and also for the many um, uh, features that they have in the island that attract the tourists so the main source of income in this island is tourism it's a beautiful place as you can see um, all, all the Caribbean are, are marvelous, are marvelous. Uh, you see I mean it's a um, it's, uh, paradise there so I went to snorkeling uh, that's what I am with my um, goggles uh, today uh, and then I still have the same shirt can you believe that yeah it's a shirt special for swimming and then we went to, to to a place there I went two times one time I went by myself and another time I took a boat and then we went my maybe 10 to 15 miles into the ocean when they have the reefs and then we went there to um, to see uh, and then I went to snorkeling there uh, but the first time I went by myself I took a van and I said I'm gonna go to a beach close by and then they have these vans that um, you pay a little bit and then you go with uh, with the guys there and um, this is uh, uh, in fact this is the driver here and this is the collector and so he he keep charging us about uh, the money uh, and then we went there uh, to the beach so I arrived at the beach it's a beautiful place and then I just went inside and did all of my things because it was an excellent place for snorkeling 
But close to the beach was not as exciting as it was in the reef. So when I went to the reef, I could see more um, fish than here. But it was fun anyways. The problem, I will tell you after the video. We will take a look on uh, some of the things that I saw there. And I have a video for you now. Well, when I was um, in uh, Antigua, we went scuba diving. Ah, not scuba diving, snorkeling. And then we have those, um, I saw those uh, shells there, see? The size of this shell, so we can hear the ocean. And you cannot talk, you can talk as you are talking in a microphone. But this is cool. They said that we hear the ocean when we go uh, inside. I hear, I hear a noise, but I'm not sure if it's the ocean. <laughs> Anyways, see, it's big. It's almost the size of my head. Um, uh, I didn't get this when I was scuba diving. I saw it, and I thought I'm gonna get one. Then I thought, well, this guy might not like that, and then they might, um, they might not allow me to take. So um, I bought it from a guy that was in the beach, and then um, I think I gave one also to. Um, Alana and Carter, you might have one like that. Uh, isn't that cool? It's it's something exciting. I kept the big one for me, sorry. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Well, after I finish my snorkeling on that beach, I have to go back and take the van back. But I was completely soaked. And then uh, I felt that, uh, how can I go and sit beside a person there in the van? <laughs> they, would, they would throw me out of the van. So I have to walk uh, at least one mile and get a little drier. And then when I was uh, a little drier, so I, I stopped the van there and then they put me in and I sat and I, I was still wet, but, uh, but not as much to, to wet the, the seat and, and the people around. Ah, I believe so. Then another day we went to see the ruins. So they have uh, several forts um, that the British uh, build, I mean, uh, maybe two or three hundred years ago. I mean, this, uh, these uh, ruins are from the 1700s uh, or 1600s. So is, uh, they, they want to protect the island against, uh, against the, the invasions, other, other invasions. By the way, this island, the first uh, person that arrived in this island, guess what? Was Christopher Columbus. Do you know who Christopher Columbus is? Yeah, the guy that uh, discovered America. And then he went in the island in, in 1493. Can you believe that? 1493, Columbus went to the same island that uh, Vovos, Vovo was before. So maybe he also um, was able to tell his grandkids about his adventures, Columbus' adventures, or Columbus' adventure. So, Columbus was the first guy that came to America in a boat from Europe. And then, uh, and then he discovered Antigua. He was the first guy to get there. So here we have another fort, another part of the fort. In this uh, part here, they would put the cannons and they, and, uh, and they will hide uh, in the walls here. Né? And, and then um, they have some other things. I believe this was a deposit, ammunition deposit. I mean, I, I'm not sure, but I believe so. And then I went to my beach. Uh, I stay most of the time in Jolly Beach Resort. There we were, um, we, are, we were having a summit, a health summit again, as I will show you. And they invite me to to, um, to do some lectures, um, again, on cancer prevention. Here is the, the, the pool, 
uh, in the resort. I mean, very big. And um, I again, I I'm not sure if I enter in that pool because I we have the whole ocean and, and the whole, the ocean was so good. Here we have another view. Um, very 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 beautiful place. And another view again. So. Um, it was all surrounded by palm trees everywhere. And then we found this interesting um, tree. And uh, when I got there, I did, ha I did not have any idea what uh, kind of tree was that. Then I have to research and check on, on Google to see if I could find this uh, tree. And then uh, the name of the tree is sausage tree sausage yeah the the fruits look like a sausage and it's big look at this it's uh it's more than one feet long and they said that this fruit can go two or three feet long um uh, is the name is the caigilia pinata caigilia pinata is the native uh, is the normal is the uh, scientific name of this native uh, tree from africa I think they got from the slaves, they got some uh, uh, seeds from Africa and then planting the island. And uh, was the only island that I saw this, uh, uh, this um, tree, uh, the sausage tree. Wasn't that uh, interesting? But you cannot eat that. In fact, uh, you can, but uh, you cannot eat the fruit raw. They have to cook, they have to bake the fruit and make powder and then proceed that and uh, proceed uh, make recipes and then they can use that for eating and they said that is very nutritious. But um, if you eat that raw, it's poisonous and can kill you, so forget about that. And then guess what was that? This used to be called the Boggy Mountain. And then when uh, President Obama was elected president in the United States, the president of the, the, president of the island, the Antigua country, um, decided to make an honor, an homage to uh, Obama. And, they, and, they, uh, and then he changed the name of this mountain, Boggy Mountain, and put Mount Obama. Can you believe that? We have there... Um, uh, uh, an American uh, monument, <laughs> Mount Obama. See, uh, just to to check that I'm not lying. So, in the top of this mountain, they have this monument uh, in homage to Obama, one of the first African American to become president of the United States, and then um, one of the biggest nations in the world. So. Uh, in the Caribbean, most of the presidents are African Americans, and they were happy when they saw Obama taking care, taking over um, the presidency in the United States. And then we have the beach again. I decide now to go kayaking. Yeah, so um, I love to go kayaking, and uh, I still need to buy one kayak for myself. So one of these days I will do so. Um, and then I'm going to be kayaking all of those uh, rivers here around. Uh, well, we don't have many rivers, but maybe Big Bear or, or Lake Paris or whatever. So I went, um, this is a, a, an area of uh, picture of uh, the place that I was. And then I will show you my, my itinerary um, when I went kayaking. I went from here uh, and then, uh, okay, I went here and then I went until the top here of the, um, there is some uh, mountains, small mountains here and there is some reefs and rocks and then I went uh, kayaking around there and then I come back here. It was fun, it was fun. Oh, here is have my mark here. I, I I knew I had to I had done that, but uh, the computer was not going there. So that that's what I did. Uh, kayak. Um, after that, well, we have another video. I learned something from the Antiguans, 
and I need to show you that. I mean, it's very funny. <laughs> but uh, these guys are very smart. They have some some other some smart things there, and uh, I will um, show share with you that. Another thing I learned in Antigua was these guys there are crazy about Ziploc bags. And then you know what they do? They, they put a, a cell phone. Yeah, they put a cell phone inside of the Ziploc and then, uh, and then they lock it very well and then they put inside of the water. Yeah. They go in a in a in, in the ocean there, and they put inside of the water, and they take pictures and they videos, uh, and then they take the phone out, uh, uh, and the phone is dry, and then they can use the phone um, again. Yeah, no problem. They can use the phone, and then the phone is uh, working. Um, Let's see. Hello? Hello? I think this didn't work. Hello, excuse me. Oh my goodness. Don't tell Vovó. Don't do that at home. <laughs> he might not work with this zip log, dumb zip log. Anyways. <laughs> Bye bye. <laughs> what am I going to do with that now? Well, I guess it didn't work as I as I planned, and uh, and also I'm not sure if I can um, trust those Caribbeans uh, or Antiguans, uh, at least with that thing. Well, here is my health summer. Um, I am a health summit. I was doing the cancer prevention seminar again, and um, there is another picture of the audience. Yeah, uh, as I mentioned, most of them are African Americans, but uh, in the Caribbean, they have a high incidence of cancer. So we mentioned when we went to Republic Dominican. Um, or Dominican Republic, I, I mentioned about the causes of cancer. And, um, but um, uh, the reason that they invite me is that um, they have a lot of breast cancer, prostate cancer, stomach cancer, um, lung cancer. I mean, still many people smoke on those islands. And ovary cancer is, uh, is also very common. And, and uh, cerv cerv cervical cancer for women also is very common. So in general, and, and uh, colon cancer, intestinal cancer also is, is, is frequent. So all of these um, uh, raise the interest for cancer prevention. That's why I was there. Here we have another picture of the resort. I mean, very beautiful place. I mean. And then in the resort, they have a safe box. Um, this is a lesson that you guys have to learn. Whenever you go to a, a hotel, you put everything that is uh, worthy, that is valuable inside of, the, inside of the safe box. Then you close this and then you put a code and then only you can open that. So when I was there, I, I know about that. So I put all my things, I put my cell phone, I put my um, wallet, I put my camera, I put my, uh, even my computer, I was able to fold it and put inside of the safe box. You know what happened? A few days after that, one, uh, a group of thieves, I believe it was more than one, they entered in a room that was two uh, doors uh, away from my uh, from my room, and they stole everything. It was an Italian family, by the way. They they have a lot of Europeans there, and then this Italian didn't have an idea that uh, we have uh, thieves. That well, I didn't have an idea. So when I came back from my lecture, I was going to my room, and then I saw all this commotion, 
and the police and uh, and all our people uh, uh, complaining and then um, they went uh, into the they they enter they they broke into the room and he stole computers he stole cameras he stole binoculars he stole wallets he stole uh, whatever cell phones <laughs> and these guys were very upset about that but uh, I learned the lesson well I I I have learned the lesson before because all my things were inside of my of my safe safe box. And then I have to be careful about uh, these birds also. These black birds are very smart, and they are always in the cafeteria. What they are doing in the cafeteria? I'm gonna show you. We have parts of the cafeteria that are outside, that are open air cafeteria. So we can go inside, pick our food, and then go to um, go to this place and sit there and eat. However, if we leave our pizza there in the in our plate and then go and get a drink, when we come back, these guys here might get your pizza and might get your food and sometimes they enter and they sit on your table and they poo 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 two, two or three of them eating your food so it's very messed up so you have to be careful if you travel to those islands and you have these black birds there they are very smart and very hungry too <laughs> then uh, on my last uh, days there I was invited to go to um, a Hispanic church. They they figured out that I used to speak Spanish, or I speak Spanish, kind of speak Spanish, and then um, uh, they invited me to to give the lectures there. I mean about cancer prevention or other lectures, and then I went there. Where I am, now you can see there. I I was there. And then I preach, and then uh, I went there several nights uh, uh, to share with them. It was a good group, and we had a good time. However, they have these genips or henepes in Spanish, and then I never ate this fruit. And the pastor that invited me, he said, "I have these fruits in my house, and I will give some." So he wants to make me happy and taste something from uh, from his own yard and uh, something that was tradition in native on this Caribbean island. And then he got these uh, Jennifer's, uh, Jennifer's uh, fruits. Uh, they were very delicious, by the way. And then I got there and then I started, oops, I'm gonna eat those. And I was crazy about that. My goodness, Pastor. Why didn't you tell me before? I mean, those are delicious fruits. But what happened is that when I got to my room, I started getting pains on my stomach. <laughs> What's going on? And I was very, feeling very bad. And then I started vomiting. <laughs> oh my goodness, what's going on with those fruits? And then I got high fever and I went only to sleep. And I think I slept for one whole day and one whole night. And this was the last day I have. Fortunately, I have finished my lectures. I just need to go to the church one more time. And I went to the church, but I'll tell you, I would preach at night and I will ask for a break and I would go outside and vomit. And then I would come back to the church and then I sat on a stool and then I continued preaching. And that was crazy. And, um, and that was uh, probably, um, it's not just the fruit, but uh, the fruits were, uh, I, I mean, the water that they use in these uh, islands are very contaminated. And probably the pastor has a, a pit they got water from underground and then they washed the fruits uh, with this water that's contaminated and i ate those fruits crazy and um, and i never do that i never eat salads in those islands i never eat anything that was uncooked because of that because of uh, afraid of get food poisoning 
and in that time I got it and I was very very bad and I have to take antibiotics fortunately we have a team there that uh, they helped me with that and uh, and then I recover but uh, it took me a few days I was in the airport and in the airport I was sleepy I was down there but we had fun at the end it was a beautiful place it was a wonderful trip I cannot complain I almost died but I cannot complain so here is um, one of the pictures that I took. Um, they have uh, boats, kayakis, and snorkeling, place for snorkeling, beautiful, beautiful nature. And that's the last slide. Bye bye, and I'll see you now with another adventure, Vovo's adventures that I'm gonna show. I'm gonna choose another country no more in the caribbean well maybe i go to cancun next you know where cancun is mexico and maybe i will show cancun as the next vovos adventures bye bye guys see you later